What's up everybody, Ryan Suchit here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you uh, how I break out locations to uh, help with results and help with budget utilization. So let's dive in. So I'm looking at a Google Ads account here. Um, the first thing I do when I'm deciding what I'm gonna do with different bid adjustments like location is I look at the budget, right? So let's say the last seven days. Uh, for this account, we're losing out on a lot due to budget. Um, so what I'm gonna be looking at here is how do I uh, get better traffic to the site, right? Remove some junk um, and get better clicks for the budget because um, this is a lower budget client. So I'll usually click the last seven days. I might take a peek the last 30 days just to kind of see what's been going on. Um, okay, and then what I do to break out location specifically is I get to the locations tab um, and then this one, uh, I don't know why it's not showing there. There we go. <laughs> loading super slow today. But uh, see, this one's targeting Winnipeg, which is a city. And most people just kind of stop here. They might do bid adjustments. They might have multiple cities. But there's a lot more you can do here. Um, okay, so first of all, there's a thing called matched locations. And from here, you can actually break down further. So if you're targeting the country, you can break it down by postal or um, state or you know, zip code or whatever it is. Um, there's lots of options here depending on where you are. But for me, I'm at the city level targeting, so I'm gonna break it down further into postal codes, okay? And for some businesses, it won't logically make sense, but this is like a uh, home services company. It's, uh, I think it's a painter. So for them, you know, postal codes do matter, right? Um, because some ends, areas of the city might be more commercial, some areas of the city might be more low income. So it does matter, right? Um, but really, we let the data tell us the story. So the first thing I look at is all time data. And since this client is not like it's losing out due to budget, I'm gonna be looking at what I can remove and what I can lower, right? Um, and also find some stuff to uh, increase that's really performing well, um, but I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I'm lowering more than I'm increasing, right? Um, so what I'm looking at here is first off the average, right? So the average cost per conversion is about $91. So that's really good for me to know. So to look for the winners and what's really performing is I sort by conversions, right? Because what you don't want to do is add in everything and have a bunch of bid adjustments for something that's only converted once, right? You're looking for the big anomalies here. So for here, th these first ones kind of stand out to me, right? Um, much lower than the co average cost per conversion and they have decent volume. Um, so these are going to stand out to me, but this is all time data. So what I usually do too is I'll kind of highlight some of my favorites and then I might check out the last 30 days because just because they performed all time doesn't mean they're performing recently well, right? But these ones are, right? So they're looking really good. Um, so these are definitely going to be on my radar to um, add in and increase the bid adjustment, right? This one doesn't have a lot of volume, but overall it's been um, decently well. So if I wanted to add these ones in, right, um, what you would do is you just go edit and you go add target set bid adjustments. And then for here is it where you're really gonna have to start thinking about the budget utilization, right? Because um, in this account, we're already um, maxed out, right? So I am gonna increase these and I should increase these, but I wanna make sure I'm also getting rid of and lowering things more than I'm increasing, right? And you're not always just looking at locations, right? There's other things in the account you're gonna be lowering. So what you're really trying to do is get everything to the average, right? You're trying to get everything close to the average as possible. Um, that's ultimately how uh, these things work. So for this one, if you wanna take a moderate approach, you might go 15%. If you wanted to be really aggressive, like let's say you weren't spending anywhere near the budget, you might wanna really crank these by 50%. Um, but for this one, I'm just gonna go up 15%. Um, but yeah, this is really gonna depend on the budget and how well the client's performing, that type of thing. Um, so that's done there. And then if you wanted to kind of see what that looks like now, we can go back to the targeted default page. And then these are gonna be in here now. Right, and now you can monitor these, right? Uh, after 30 days or so, you can look at how did these perform with this bid adjustment and then make more changes as you go. Um, but one thing I do wanna warn you about is don't over manage here, right? Um, because you gotta give these things enough data. So like this is a low spending account, so it's gonna take a while to truly know how these bid adjustments did. Um, so just keep that in mind that you're not over managing, you're not adding a whole bunch and changing these every week, right? Just don't over manage here. You're looking for anomalies that are really standing out. Okay, so let's go back to the match location and let's look for some losers here. So I sort by cost 
I'm at 30 days, but let's go all time. When I'm looking for losers, I really like the all time. Because look at this one here. Spent 329, got zero conversions. So this is definitely gonna be on my radar to exclude altogether probably. Um, same with this one here most likely. Uh, this one's only 163, so I'm definitely not gonna exclude this one. Um, so I'm probably gonna get rid of these two. Let's say I wanted to do that. Again, it's gonna depend on your aggression level and the client. So for these ones, I'm gonna go exclude. Okay, and then those are gonna show up in your excluded. So now you're not gonna show for those at all. Now if we go back, now let's say I wanna sort by cost per conversion, and there's lots here, right? That only converted once, so it doesn't consider it a winner, right? It's, it's converting way higher than the average. Um, so for these ones, you know, you could, again, depending on your aggression level, you can remove, um, but let's say for example, I wanted to add this one in with a negative bid adjustment, right? Um, some of these are pretty close. So let's say I wanted to do all of these, okay? I'm not saying you should necessarily do that, but let's just say I did. Um, and then I want to go add targets. You can change this to decrease, right? And like I mentioned before, you really want to make big moves here because you're maxing out your budget and we, we increased other things. So we really need to be decreasing. So for these ones, I might decrease by 40%, right? Um, so let's add those in. And while this is loading, the, the math doesn't always make sense, right? Like you're seeing these that are at 300 and the average is 90. So you might automatically think, okay, I need to decrease these by, you know, what is that? Like 70, 75%. I don't do that usually. Um, sometimes I guess I will, but the math doesn't always equate um, that simple, right? So what I'm usually doing is I'm making smaller increments, monitoring them as I go and see what happens. Because I mean, Google Ads is an auction system, right? Things are changing all the time. So I don't like to make massive changes unless I really need to and the client's complaining or something and I need to really change things really fast, then I'll increase my aggression level. But a lot of this is gonna come down to your feel, right? And what's happening overall with the account, the relationship, the data, and not to mention this is just locations. There's other moves you're gonna be making. So what I really want you guys to focus on is the big picture, big anomalies um, that can make quick wins for you, right? And that's usually gonna be excluding some altogether from the all time and adding some in and increasing and that type of thing. Okay, but the, like increasing something 5% and decreasing 5%, I don't, don't do any of that, right? Like the math is just too hard to have, unless you have some account spending a ton of money, right? Then 5% can really matter. But really what I, what I focus on and what I think you guys should, for the most part, focus on is these big anomalies, okay? So now that I added these in, uh, let's go back to targeted. and here they all are now. So now we've added these in so we can monitor them a lot easier and we can actually change the bid adjustment on this field. Okay, you can't do it in the matched uh, locations area. And so this is when you're targeting the city and breaking down to the postal code. You can also do it for if you're targeting countries and you wanna break it into states or states and you wanna break it into cities, right? You can do all types of things. And again, it's just looking for the anomalies, adding them in so you can monitor them and then making changes to help with the budget utilization and you know more conversions and that type of thing anyways guys i hope that helped if it did please make sure you subscribe and have notifications turned on so you can find your way back see you in the next video